This is Chad with the iPhone blog and today I'm going to take a look at Air Display uh, for the iPad. And You can see I have my iPad sitting right next to my iMac. I've got my the New York Times up as well as AIM and email and a couple other apps just to give you a general idea of how I'm working. And then over here what we're going to do is we're going to launch the Air Display app. Now what Air Display does is it goes ahead and extends your monitor from your Mac uh, to your iPad. So right now uh, it's not working because we actually have to turn Air Display on via a program you need to install from up top right there. So I go ahead and I click on this and I turn Air Display on and I have to select a device so I have iPad there you go and we'll watch like magic over here it will refresh and then boom I have another monitor. So how does it work? Well, one of the first things I feel you need to do is if you go up to your system preferences, uh, we can take a look at those here. Uh, you have air display in the bottom right here. And you have a couple options, you know, to turn it on, set up your device, it checks for updates and so on and so forth. But what I found to be very useful is actually go to displays and arrangement and arrange it the way you actually have it set. So notice, you know, my iPad sits a little bit below my Mac. So that's exactly how I arranged it here. I could probably arrange it a little more accurately like that. And so that gives a really good representation of how it's actually set up. So having said that, let's see how it works. Well, if I drag my mail over there you can see it's a little too small for that I suppose I could load, uh, load it in landscape but eh, we're just gonna move it back for now and instead I think what this this app is best used for is for things like your aim list so I'll take my aim list and shrink it down just a little bit and drag it over now see this is what I'm talking about so if you have an aim list or a Twitter list set up, those are the type of things that this app is great for. So then it's kind of out of your way, but you can still be productive. Uh, it's fantastic. I love it for that purpose. Or let's launch Skype right off the bat. And Skype will take a second to pop up. And wait for it to load. There's Skype. And we're gonna move Skype over here as well. Now you're not imagining it, it is really jerky when you move things around. So uh, as an example, I am going to open up a PDF here. Oh, I have uh, spaces turned on, sorry about that. And you can see it's really smooth as I move things around. And then as I try to move it here, it's put, 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 put. And you can kind of see that here, it moves smooth on one, little jerky on the other. Um, so, so the thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to use the iPad for a main workspace. It's a great ancillary workspace for doing chats or, or things like that. But you don't probably actually want to work in this environment. It's just great to throw very small things off onto the side that will fit within the screen resolution. You could probably get away with doing a little bit more if you rotated it to landscape, but the dock that I have, of course, doesn't allow that. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's pretty cool uh, and, and it's reasonably priced uh, in the App Store. And you can also set up your iPhone 4 to do the same thing, but <laughs> I don't think I need to tell you it's a pretty small screen to set up, but, but you can nonetheless. So anyway, this is Air Display uh, for the iPad. Again, in summary, it's great for AIM and Skype to kind of run off on the side so it doesn't take up your main desktop. Of course, I go ahead and I set up multiple desktops and notice what happens is is that you have a multi <laughs> your, your iPad shows up as a screen in all three desktops so on the Mac I set up three virtual desktops I think that's kinda cool that it shows up there as well so just one final thing uh, to show you guys so again this is air display for the iPad and for your iMac